starving. So I'm going to make myself some breakfast. This is one of the things I've really been enjoying lately. It's a great way to pack in protein in the morning and for me, especially after my workout. So I'm going to make a bacon bell pepper scramble. So I have the fully cooked bacon. I have two slices of that. I'll cook it in the microwave for a couple seconds, get it crispy, crumble it up in my scramble. And then I've been doing one whole egg and two to three egg whites. These are those farm fresh eggs. I actually just ordered some more from the lady here in our community. These are seriously amazing eggs. If you can get your hands on farm fresh eggs, do it because they are much better than store-bought. And then I ordered a produce box from my community as well that supports a local church. And I got like 10 green peppers, green bell peppers. So I went ahead and cut them all up and froze them. That way I have bell pepper on hand. So I pulled some out of the freezer about half of an hour ago. I'm gonna throw those in my scramble. Top it with some light shredded cheese. And then I have a few blackberries left. I'll go ahead and weigh it out on my food scale for the number of grams. So here's my breakfast. I have it on my little love plate for Valentine's Day. Look at my scramble. This looks incredible. Packed with protein. We're getting in a veggie. I like the bacon in here because it adds a little bit of crispiness and saltiness to it. I don't actually add the bacon in until the very end so that it stays crispy. And then this is the rest of those blackberries, which is 102 grams. So I don't track my fruit obviously in WW, but I do when I count calories. So I'll add in 102 grams of raspberries and I'll put points, calories, macros here on the screen for you. So an official good morning and welcome to today's what I eat in a day. I am going to eat my breakfast and then I'm going to mix up my Motivate Amino for after my workout. I did just place an order, so I'll share that with you guys. I've really been loving this scramble for breakfast. I change up the vegetables that I put in it. I've really made an effort in the new year to get in more vegetables. So by adding them to a scramble, it's just a really easy way to get them in. And then refueling with some healthy carbs in the blackberries. As you can see, I'm ready for the day. I haven't put on my perfume yet because I just got an order in from Dossier, so I'll share that with you guys as well. Lots and lots of good stuff happening in today's What I Eat in a Day. Let me finish my breakfast. We'll put on some perfume, finish getting ready for the day, head on into the kitchen to mix up my amino BCAAs after boot camp this morning. Oh my gosh, the workout this morning. During the workout, my Apple Watch kept asking me if I was done working out. I'm like, 
obviously not. My heart rate's like 160 beats per minute. So I don't know what was going on with my Apple Watch, but for some reason, it didn't even register my workout this morning. But I know on average, my calorie burn and average heart rate at boot camp. But that was really weird that it kept asking me if my workout was over when I'm doing burpees and out of breath. So that was interesting this morning. Sometimes you just gotta love technology. The dossier order came yesterday and I waited until today to unbox it with you guys and pick out my fragrance for the day. I've shared dossier a lot on my channel. I absolutely love it. I've gifted this to so many people. I've included dossier fragrances in my giveaways in my Facebook group and everybody loves them and is shocked by the fact that these replicate high-end fragrances for a fraction of the price. These are going to range for anywhere from $29 to $39 before any discounts. Now there's always discounts on their website and I will link an additional 5% off down below. You can actually stack that on whatever discount is going on on the dossier website. So I went ahead for the month of love, for the month of February, and ordered a couple of fragrances as a little gift to myself. I love how it comes packaged. Like I said, it makes such a nice gift. There is a little card with each fragrance that tells you the name of the fragrance, what high-end fragrance it replicates, all of the notes, and the packaging of the dossier fragrances is so nice. I always say that the packaging is really high quality. It is nice glass packaging. And my favorite feature is the magnetic lid. I keep a dossier fragrance in my purse and in my gym bag because of the magnetic lid, it doesn't spill and get all over everything. And I love, again, the glass packaging, the minimal label, everything about this is just aesthetically pleasing and the fragrances are top notch. So the two that I picked up for February it are the Aromatic Star Anise. And this is a replication of Dior's Savage Odie Toilette. So I am excited to try this out. I love Dior fragrances, but they are so incredibly expensive. The notes on this one, the top notes are bergamot, pepper, and star anise. And I like that little bit of licorice on the top note. It adds just kind of a sweetness to the fragrance. The middle notes are lavender, nutmeg, and geranium. And the base notes are patchouli, amberwood, and veveteer. So let's test this one out, see how close it is to the Dior. I love this. This smells so good. I smell the pepper, so it gives it kind of a musk smell. And then you get the sweetness on the back end with the star anise. It doesn't smell like licorice. It just adds a little bit of sweetness. So it's kind of a woodsy fragrance, a musky fragrance with a little bit of sweetness. It smells amazing and it smells just like the Dior. And then the other fragrance that I picked up is the Spicy Orchid. And this is a replication of Tom Ford's Black Orchid. And we know how expensive Tom Ford is. I mean, Tom Ford is 100% out of my budget. So I thought if I could find a fragrance from Dossier that replicated them, that's, that replicates this fragrance and smells just as good, that was going to be a huge win. Not to mention, save me a lot of money. So the top notes in this one are cinnamon, pink, pepper, and mandarin. Your middle notes are Lang Lang, Orchid, and Plum. And your base notes are Sandalwood, Vanilla Incense, and Patchouli. So this one is a little bit more sweet smelling. I actually really like the fragrance from Tom Ford. And then you have the Spicy from the Pink Peppercorn. Oh yes. Oh my goodness. Dare I say this smells better than the Tom Ford? I have smelled the Tom Ford endless times because like I said, it's a fragrance I've wanted for a long time. It's just so expensive. I can't believe how this replicates the Tom Ford. If not, if not a better fragrance, this is the fragrance for today. Oh my goodness, it blows my mind. Every time I get a Dossier fragrance, it blows my mind how exact it is to the high-end fragrance for a fraction of the price. So I couldn't be more happier with the two that I picked up. I know we're getting close to Valentine's Day, but it would make an amazing Valentine's Day gift for a fragrance lover in your life. So again, I will make sure that I link Dossier down below with an additional 5% off discount code. And I'm feeling, I'm feeling bougie smelling like Tom Ford today. Now that I smell amazing, I am going to mix up my BCAAs post-workout. I just finished my breakfast and I wanted to share the little sample pack with you, the sample packs of the Amino, 
which is the post-workout BCAA recovery supplement and Motivate Burn. I get a lot of questions from you guys about what's the difference between the amino and the burn. What do the little sample packs look like so that you can test out all of the different flavors? So I wanted to share them with you guys. I just ordered these because I was out of the little packets. And as you know, I'm going to San Diego in March. So I wanted to make sure that I had these available to take with me. So first is the Motivate Burn pack. So you're going to get five different packs so you can try five of the Motivate flavors. And this is just a great way to test out all the flavors, find one that you really like, and then you can order the big tub of it. So it's a great way to test it out and it's also an amazing item for travel because you just can because you just take the little packet with you add it to your water on the go and you always have Motivate Burn at your fingertips. So you're going to get the Island Punch flavor, berry, watermelon, cherry lemonade, and orange burst. I love all the Motivate flavors. I really love them all. Out of this packet, I would say my top two are the watermelon and the orange burst, but you can't go wrong with any of the flavors. And again, fantastic for travel. If you're someone that works outside the home, you can leave these in your car, in your purse, in your desk drawer, and you always have Motivate Burn on hand. The other little pack, is the amino. Now this is the BCA post BCAA post workout supplement. So this is going to help with recovery after working out, whether it's an intense workout or even just taking a walk. I always use the amino to help rebuild my muscle, help with soreness and recovery. Now you are only going to get one flavor, but you get five packets and it's pineapple mango, which is my favorite flavor. I actually have the full size tub of this as well. So this is what I'm going to use today after my workout. I'll show you how I mix it in with my water. And again, it's just going to give you a really good recovery supplement that just really helps with soreness and rebuilding your muscle after you break it down. And we know that when we're sore, it can, increase our weight on the scale. So anything we can do to combat that is really beneficial. And the amino not only tastes amazing, helps you get in your water, but definitely helps with all the soreness and bloating from working out. So depending on the cup that I use, if I use my Stanley cup, I add some water, add in my Motivate Amino or the Burn. I do this same process with both products. And then I like to use my little handheld frother. I just bought this one on Amazon. I will link it down below for you. That just really mixes in the powder. If you use a water bottle, you can just shake it up. But because this is a tumbler, I actually like to mix it in. Add my ice and I am set with my amino. So again, I'm getting in 30 to 40 ounces of water and helping with recovery. It just tastes like flavored water, but you're getting all of the benefits. So again, I can't recommend the, the, the burn for that afternoon pick-me-up. It does have about 300 milligrams of caffeine, so it's going to give you that pick-me-up. Pick there is a no-stim caffeine-free version as well on their website, and then I use the amino every single time that I exercise. So I'll link Motivate down below with 20% off for you. Morning snack time. I'm making it simple because I'm actually about to head out the door to go get a coffee, of course, and I need to run to the post office. So I'm going to have a healthy eating all the time in Go Bar. This is the blueberry and dark chocolate. When I order from healthy eating, I always get the protein bars. All of the ones that have at least 10 grams of protein, that's going to be your best macro ratio between calories and protein. These are absolutely delicious, super clean ingredients. They're almond butter based, peanut butter based, depending on the bar. And like I said, the macros are amazing and the ingredients, you can't beat them. So I'll link these down below with 10% off for you. It is a small business. It is not an affiliate link. I don't make any commission, but you support an amazing company and you get honestly one of the cleanest protein packed bars out there. So this is going to be my morning snack and let's jump in the car, grab a coffee and head to the post office. All right, we're officially in the car. I'm going to go get a coffee and I've been debating, do I want to go to Duncan, which is literally two minutes from my house, or do I feel like driving the extra six or seven minutes and going to Dutch Brothers? I also have a gift card for Duncan. I'm going to go to Duncan just to save on time, not to mention it is right by the post office and I need to run into the post office for a couple of minutes. But I thought since we were in the car and we can chat for a second, I wanted to give you a little bit of an update. So we are taking all three of our dogs to the vet tomorrow for multiple reasons. Number one, Diesel needs to go have an exam before they'll refill his medication. I was waving to my neighbors for his thyroid and he's getting older. I mean, he 
just turned 11, so he needs to go and have an exam, make sure everything is good. He has been limping around a little bit more. When he tore his ACL and had the ACL surgery, he developed pretty severe arthritis when it was healing, so he's kind of been limping a little bit. So I don't know if maybe we need to change up the pain medication or if this is just part of him being older and then also suffering from arthritis. And then I think Palmer, we think Palmer has allergies because he's always like biting at his foot and scratching his ear. And Troy's really good about cleaning the dog's ears. He cleans the dog's ears all the time, but we both think that Palmer may have some allergies. So we want to have him tested for that. And then Lola, Lola needs some vaccines, but she also, in the last week or so, she has these lumps under her neck that are kind of hard. It kind of feels like a swollen lymph node and it's pretty concerning. I mean, I've Googled it and obviously they say, take your dog to the vet, have a test, figure it out. It could be absolutely nothing. It, it could be cancer related, which I honestly don't even want to think about, but she needs to have her vaccines, have an exam. And then I want the doctor to look at her neck so we can try to figure out where the swollen swollen glands are coming from. It could be a reaction to something is what I was reading online. She could have got bit by something. I mean, we live in a hot climate, so there's who knows what outside and they're always outside playing. So we have a like two hour vet visit tomorrow. And of course I'll fill you guys in, let you know what we find out, but it's just always scary when your dog has like something odd like lumps on her neck and stuff and for the record she is not acting any different she eats sleeps, she plays with palmer all the time she drinks a lot of water she's always drinking a lot of water and i think that's partially because she does take an NSAID for pain and i think it may cause extra thirst so basically she's not acting any different now than she has in the past. So I just keep thinking if it was something severe, you know, cancer or something, surely she would act a little bit different, but I'm not a vet, so I could be completely wrong. So we are going to have not only a long vet visit tomorrow, but a probably very expensive vet visit. But like I said, I'll update you guys in a future video. Yes, can I have a medium iced Americano with an extra shot, sugar-free toasted almond and some 2% milk? If you ever wondered, if you ever wondered why I get so frustrated when I go to Dunkin', this is what they just handed me. I ordered an iced Americano. There's no ice in this. It is completely warm. So it says on here, three toasted almond shot, one milk, one add espresso, but there's no ice in here and it's lukewarm. So this is why Dunkin' really frustrates me. I didn't say anything because I'm going to go home and add ice, but explain this to me. Is, is it that they're not trained? Is that, that they're overworked, overwhelmed? What's happening at Duncan? Okay, post office check. We are now going to go home. I am so excited, you guys, to share a dessert with you that our trainer at boot camp, every Friday, the last Friday of the month or the first Friday of the month, depending on how it falls, we do a 5K at the lake in our community and we always bring a healthy snack to share. Well, Julia, who runs boot camp, brought these Snickers dates that she found on Instagram. OMG, they were the best thing I've ever eaten, like literally ever eaten. So I had her send me the recipe and we're going to make those when we get home so we can get them in the freezer because they go in the freezer before you eat them. And that's going to be our dessert tonight. So I'm super excited about that. I also have a new lunch recipe, new dinner recipe. We got lots of cooking to do. So I am going to go transfer my warm iced coffee into a cup with ice and we'll make some Snickers dates. So I added ice to my Dunkin' coffee and now we're gonna make the dates. So you only need four things. So you need some Medjool dates, pecan halves. I mean, you could probably use a different nut, but this is the one she used in the recipe. Peanut butter. I was going to use American Dream nut butter, but I don't know if the flavored nut butter will change the recipe. So I'm just going to use regular peanut butter and then you'll need some coarse sea salt. Five ingredients. You also need chocolate chips, so I'm using Lily's. If you hear water in the background, Troy's filling up the water dish, but I have 10 dates. So the first thing we're going to do is break those in half and pull the pit out. And when I meant water dish, I meant for the dogs, <laughs> not for us. So spread your date open and pull the pit out. Leave your date open because we're going to fill it with the pecan and the peanut butter. And then we're going to take a pecan half and put that down in the date. 
Also, if you don't like dates, which there were a few girls at our boot camp thing that don't, didn't like dates, but they loved these. They don't taste like dates at all. They legit taste like a Snickers. And then we're going to take about a teaspoon of peanut butter, maybe even less. No, I guess probably pretty close to a teaspoon and put that right on top of the pecan. And then you're going to fold your date around the pecan and the peanut butter, basically just close up the date. And then I'm going to melt some Lily's chocolate chips in the microwave and we're going to roll the date in chocolate. Then we're going to take the date and roll it in the melted Lily's chocolate. Just get it covered with chocolate. And then I'm going to put mine in this little glass container because they are going to go in the freezer. But before they do, we're going to take a little bit of coarse ground sea salt and sprinkle that right on top. And then repeat until you have all of your dates rolled in the chocolate. So here are the Snickers dates. I'm gonna throw a lid on this and pop this in the freezer and we're gonna test these out for dessert tonight. Do you see this? The big 5-0. I have officially, as of Monday, hit 50,000 subscribers here on YouTube and I want to be the first one to thank you so much for subscribing to my channel, watching my videos. This has been a big goal for me. It's been my dream since I started my channel to really grow it and help as many people as I can and hitting the 50,000 subscriber benchmark is absolutely huge. I can't wait till we get to 60, 70, 80, 100. We are going to continue to grow this community because it is such a wonderful, positive place to be with lots of ideas on how to navigate our journey and be successful. So I wanted to say thank you from the bottom of my heart again for subscribing and watching my videos. I am doing a 50K giveaway. I will put all of the information down in the description box. I have also posted about the giveaway on my community tab here on YouTube and in my Facebook group, as well as on my Instagram. So make sure you follow me everywhere so you can hear all about the giveaway and how to win. Again, thank you so much from the bottom of my heart for 50K, and let's continue to grow this amazing community. Ignore the blower, Troy is cleaning up the backyard, but this is my lunch. So I put together a little bowl. I really wanna focus on getting in my protein, getting in some healthy carbs. The chicken actually came from Imperfect Foods and it's seasoned with Italian, really good. I have my sweet potatoes and my edamame. So I just weighed everything out on my food scale. I'll go ahead and put points, calories, macros here on the screen for you. Troy and I are going on a little Jeep ride. We're gonna go have some ice cream. Actually, he's gonna get ice cream and I'm just gonna have a couple bites of it. I think we're gonna go to Culver's. We're gonna ride in the Jeep. So my hair is gonna get all blown around, but it's fine. We're very excited to go have some ice cream. I think it's like 70 degrees today. 72. 72. It's not quite that warm. Say hi, everybody. <laughs> We're going to get ice cream. Culver's is our favorite. Are you gonna get a, what are their custard things? Is that what you're gonna get? And then I'll have a couple bites. I usually eat some of his, but we're taking a ride in the Jeep because it's such a beautiful day. Like I said, it's 70 degrees. Like a diamond, you alone. You cut my heart like glass, just like that. Like a lion, uncontrolled. Your mark is on my back, just like that. Do the salted caramel uh, medium. Salted caramel thing. No, the concrete mixer. Concrete mixer. We have secured the good salted caramel concrete mixer for the win. Let's try it out. All the time. I'm gonna 
make some protein pudding and throw it in the fridge for an afternoon snack. That'll give me my second protein supplement today. I did pick up a four pack of the Quest Salted Caramel Shakes off of Target's website. I wanted to try it in my coffee and it's really good. It's definitely more salted than the Fair Life, but I actually like the Fair Life taste better. But I wanna try this as protein pudding. So I did an entire protein pudding video. I will link it down below for you. I'm going to add the entire container of the Quest protein. Now I have not tried Quest for protein pudding, so I'm hoping, fingers crossed, that it sets up. And then two tablespoons of sugar-free cheesecake jello. There's four tablespoons in the box, so it makes two protein puddings. So I'm going to add the other half of the packet. And then the key to protein pudding is to mix it really well. So I use my little handheld frother, same one I used this morning for my Motivate, it is linked down below for you. And I just mix it until I don't see any chunks of pudding. It is going to have bubbles on top, that is just fine. But make sure you mix in the pudding really well, pop a lid on it and throw it in the refrigerator. I recommend at least three to four hours in the fridge for it to set up. We have a French Bulldog and we have salted caramel cheesecake protein pudding. Let me try this out. This is my first time making it, like I said, with the Quest Protein Shake. So let's see if it's any good. Do you wanna tell them that mommy squirted some whipped cream on the floor for you? Yeah, that's what that wet spot is. That's actually really good. I feel like the salted part of the salted caramel comes through even more in the protein pudding. Delicious. Do you want to play ball? <gasps> yes, go get the ball. Oh, yay. Good job. <gasps> yay. Lola, you going to get him? Lola, you get Palmer. Get Palmer. This little crazy dog loves to play ball outside with Dad. They do it every day. Just every day. Hi, honey. Hi, baby. Let's go. <gasps> Go get it. This is what Diesel does when we're outside. He's so weird. Yeah, you. You always face doors and walls. Yeah, you sure do. And then Lola usually attacks Palmer, but she's being a good girl today. I'm also going to refill my water. I'm out of water. I just finished my coffee. And I wanted to share this with you guys. I bought this on Amazon. I've been loving it. It is a glass craft. I want to say it's like 40 or 44 ounces. I've been putting lemon slices from my lemon tree. I'm really trying to avoid water enhancers that have artificial sweeteners in there like Crystal Light and Mio. I'm trying to really limit the amount that I'm consuming. So I bought this craft on Amazon and you can see that the lid has these strainers. So all I do is slice up my lemons, throw them in my water, and then when I empty the water into my cup, any seeds stay in the craft and it fits perfectly in the door of my refrigerator. I love that it has a handle. They have multiple sizes, some bigger, some smaller, but this one is perfect. So I will link it down below for you guys off of Amazon. I can't remember how much it was, but I just remember it was really affordable and I've been getting in a lot more water without artificial sweeteners and water enhancers. And like I said, it fits perfectly in the door of my refrigerator. And then I have nice cold water on hand as well. For dinner tonight, I am making Italian wedding soup. This is such an easy recipe because we actually use frozen meatballs. I did make one substitution. The recipe calls for spinach. I'm gonna put zucchini in mine because Troy has to really watch spinach because of the vitamin K. So I'm gonna add zucchini for a little bit of extra vegetables. So let me show you what's in the soup. So I'm going to be using this pasta. This is the Brahmi Ratatouille, which is basically a rotini pasta. They sent this to me and I'm really excited to try it out because 21 grams of protein per serving. That is amazing. Now you guys know I absolutely love Fiber Gourmet. I'm out right now. I need to place an order. So they sent these to me. So I thought, let's test it out. Let's see if it compares to Fiber Gourmet because that will always be my love. But this one actually has a lot more calories too. It's 200 versus the 110, but you are getting 21 grams of protein per serving, which is amazing. So that is the pasta that we're going to use. You need a lot of broth. So I have a box of bone broth for some added protein. And then I'm going to use the rest of this beef broth. Like I said, frozen meatballs, which makes this easy. I have turkey meatballs from Walmart. 
fresh parsley, zucchini or spinach, minced garlic, and then maripoi, maripo, which is basically just random diced up vegetables. So I'm going to be using my caraway Dutch oven for tonight's dinner recipe. I will link caraway down below for you. Right now they're running some fantastic sales. I mean, we're talking premium premium cookware. I am obsessed with my new pots and pans. I'm going to add in my diced up zucchini. If you were using spinach, you will add that at a later time. And then my whole container of mirepoix. We're going to allow these to cook for about five to seven minutes. We want the zucchini and the mirepoix to soften. Okay, I'm going to add in some minced garlic. We're gonna let that cook down for about 30 seconds or until fragrant. Then we're going to add in lots and lots of broth. So we need eight cups of broth total. So I'm going to do the whole box of bone broth. That's four cups. And then the entire box of beef broth. You could just use another chicken broth. I have this one in my fridge and I only use like a tablespoon out of it. So it's pretty much a full box. And then you need two cups of water. And we're going to add salt and pepper. I went ahead and added in the box of the pasta. We're going to allow this to simmer for about five minutes uncovered. You do want to stir it occasionally. We want to make sure the pasta doesn't stick together, but it doesn't have to be cooked thoroughly through. Then we're going to add 24 meatballs. Stir those in and we're going to allow those to cook down with the rest of our pasta. Right. It's been boiling or simmering for a while, I should say. Our meatballs should be cooked through and our pasta. So I'm going to add in about a quarter cup of fresh parsley. Stir that in, remove it from the heat. I'll show you the finished soup. We'll plate it up and I'll be back to share points, calories, and macros. All right, so here is dinner. This looks absolutely delicious. I did top it with a tablespoon of fresh Parmesan cheese and then a little bit more of the fresh parsley. The entire batch only makes eight servings, so you get a lot of the soup per serving. All of the information will be here on the screen for you. Also, side note, the pasta, delicious. You can't tell the difference between it and regular pasta, and you're getting 20 grams of protein. Okay, here is the date. This is what it looks like inside. It legitimately tastes like a Snickers bar, just like a candy bar. Absolutely delicious, highly recommend. I will put this recipe on my recipe website. Thank you for joining me for today's What I Eat in a Day on WW. I hope you enjoyed coming along with me today, seeing all of our absolutely amazing recipes. Dinner was fantastic and those dates, let me just tell you, they are absolutely amazing. I cannot get enough of them. I will have all the recipes on my website, everything I shared with you down in the description box. And if you enjoyed today's video, uh, give it a big thumbs up. Subscribe if you're not because I upload a new What I Eat in a Day every Wednesday and five videos a week. Check out the description box down below for everything we talked about today, my recipe website, nutrition coaching, and of course, come on over, join our Facebook group. We'd love to have you. Happy Wednesday and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!